Let's get a little cold start of the GT500 before we head out. Let's head over to Isha's house and we're gonna announce to you something that we will be doing for the next couple days. There she is, let's go work on her. She's about to start looking a whole lot different after today. What's up, Ish? What's up, bro? How are you, man? Shit, bro, ready, dude. I'm excited, dude. You know me too, my bags are coming right now too. Yeah? Yeah. Today, they get delivered? Yeah, they'll be here. Oh, yeah. So you got the bags. Got the bags coming. I'm doing the wrap with this. Doing the wrap and the carbon fiber parts. Yep. Are you gonna say which? Are you gonna say which parts or no? Uh, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So we got it clay barred. It, the paint looks really smooth now. Obviously, there's still swirls, but it just looks like glossy now. We got some new towels. I'm gonna grab one and clean it with the alcohol solution up here so we can start wrapping it. All right, we're about to lay the first piece. First piece. So this is Radioactive Green by Avery Dennison. As you can see, it has a bunch of metallic flake. So we're doing this on the whole car except the carbon parts. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like uh, an I'm overlap, good. right? Yeah. Okay, so just pull straight. Yeah, and just glass it, like pull it hard. Right there. There you go. Oh, there's diagonal lines right here. Or those that have vertical, huh? I don't know. But there's some lines. I didn't go to school, guys. <laughs> and then look, you pull it, you pull it out like a triangle like that. There it is. And I guess rid of all that. All right, so here we have it. That's the finished result of the roof. I'll show you the sun action with the metallic flake real quick. Check that out, looks really sick. So we're gonna do one whole side tomorrow. I'm gonna be here uh, bright and early. So that'll probably be the next scene after this. All right, day two, let's get it. We got Ish's F-150 looking mean right here too. We got the 2V partially wrapped. I'm wrapping it up for the day but what I got done was the whole left side except the side of skirt I got the roof done already from the other day it's looking clean tomorrow what I'm gonna do is the whole other right side What do you think, Ish? Day three, the Shelby finally got a wash. Let's see, let's see what we're doing today. I think I want to start on the back right here, take it forward, and if we have um, time, do the side skirts or the trunk. 
Okay, we're starting to see some some progress. I got the trunk done. All right, guys, we ended up hitting the trunk as well, the whole right side. So now, like I said, just the bumpers and skirts next time. We'll be here in two days. See you guys in a bit for you guys, but here's uh, the Shelby, about to take it home. Got to work tomorrow, then finishing the Beast on Saturday. All right, we are here pretty early. We're about to knock the car out. So we got the Mr. 4.ish right here. We're moving the fog light bezels. You know, sun's out, lights out, bezels out. Yeah, so we got the pony emblem off. We got the headlights off, the bezels off. We're gonna end up doing a two-piece layer right here. So it's got an inlay. So you do one right here. Then the bumper has another one. That way um, we don't have to worry about this recess so much because it'll just come up over time. So that way it preserves the wrap longer. And we might do it down here. But not on the bezels because the bezels only have like quarter inch of paint. But this one's fully like three, four inches open. So hey, let's go. Let's get it. My engine bay because oh, the supercharger, the, the, supercharger, the pro charger. Uh, All right, the pro I got charger you. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. All right, guys. So in order to uh, make the seam right here, I put some knifeless tape, which has a wire on the inside. And all you do is pull it, and as you can see, it cuts it. You want to see how it works, Ish? I mean, I know you've seen it, but you want to see it in action. I do. Look. So then you just go ahead and you pull out the tape with it too. There's two. There's gonna be two halves of the tape, and then you just pull out the wrap. See right here, I didn't pull out the other half. And then you just heat gun it right now, and bam, you're done. There's one seam, and then you just fold the other one over and you make another. You make another knifeless tape like about a quarter inch out. That way, if they ever pull, they don't pull each other. They don't show the red paint. They don't expose the paint. Yeah. Should we show your YouTube channel without screwing someone? Oh, <laughs> bro, you want to? Right, that's not that one. This one's a cool one. Oh, that one's the main one? Just know he's gonna get some groceries now. Yes, sir. Cause he got the fucking bags, man. Ooh. <sighs> Damn, bags are for groceries, bro. Uh, shit, I'm going to Hey, you're like, good thing I love to eat then. <laughs> good thing I need groceries. Good thing I need groceries, bro. <laughs> Check that out. Pump, man. Hey, where's the, where's the seamless tank at? This? Yeah. Seamless? Man, that's sick, bro. Yeah, I was thinking I'm laying the front bumper on there. My buddy Ish is the only guy I know that is bagging and wrapping this car at the same exact time. They're getting started on that while, while I do the wrap. So, yeah, let's get it. Oh, now you can actually see what it looks like. Yeah. That looks sick. All right, you see it. It is 216. I have been working on the bumper all morning. I had to rewrap re it once and we ate and all that stuff. But, yeah, basically, like, I've only been working on the bumper, nothing else. We finally got it done. I had to do a couple um, inlays and seams and stuff. But, bro, now we got, like, 90% of the car done. Everything is done except the side, side skirts and back bumper. And it is my birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to just take off and... They got the cars on jacks. They're they're getting ready to do the bag, so they're gonna do that tomorrow. So I'll be here in a few days to finish up the bumper. I can't really work with it right here, so can't really move the car because it's on jack stands. They already got the suspension off. Getting ready for the bags. So yeah, bro, this is how it looks. The carbon fiber with the green looks really good. I wish we could pull it out right now, bro. I know. I know. Putting the fucking sun. It looks so good. Let me show you the bumper. All right, guys, I am so freaking happy to announce that the last piece to the puzzle was just finished. We did it in layers, and um, Ish isn't going to keep this wing for very long. He has a carbon fiber trunk and wing on the way. So we just kind of did it just, just to slap it on, you know, just to finish up the car. Uh, we'll show you around right now, but I'm with Alex SVT and with Yogi Belon. So as you can see, the side skirt is done. Passenger side skirt's done as well. Bumper is done. And wing is done. Last piece of the puzzle. So I'm gonna just set this down and we'll come in a couple days when the bags are um, done and we'll reveal the whole car. All right, we are pulling up to check out Ish's car. It is the first time I'm gonna see it completely done with the bags. Damn, guys, look at that. That's a whole different car. I haven't watched it since I went to the track. Uh, the bags got it worst. Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm right here with Four Point Ish, the owner of the 2V, and it is looking so good. He just got a fresh trunk, like I mentioned earlier in the video. I'll have you guys check it out right now. But the car looks kind of clean in this area because of the sparkle. So imagine once the whole car is clean, it's just gonna sparkle and flake so much. You gotta install what the GT emblems and what else? What else do you need to slap on? Just the badges and uh, that's it. And you you already wrapped the Robos, huh? The, the Robo, Robo uh, center caps. And now he's matching front and back with the carbon, so it looks very uh, like well distributed. Like the front's carbon, the back's carbon. He got the side side scoops. Right. Yeah, he got the side scoops. It looks really good. Uh, when I pulled up right now, I couldn't believe I wrapped this car because me not being a professional, I feel like I did a really good job. There was just like two or three little things that uh, could have been way better and maybe like my corner game could have been a little bit better but honestly it's not too bad at all let me have you guys check a couple corners out see like this one could have been a little bit better that one's really good you know everything's really good except for you know right here i undercut so that could be fixed with putting a little piece you know um the front bumper is pretty good, all except for this that keeps popping up. I messed up on this. I, I don't have much experience with bumpers, but uh, we are going to redo that. We, that's why we bought like 10, 20 extra feet. So we're going to do the front bumper and the back bumper again later on down the road. But right now, it is looking very good and it is ready for our trip that we're taking to Rancho Cucamonga to the GTR High Performance Show. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, this is the reveal. As you guys can see, it is back now. Did you already get your desired fitment? I am still tweaking with it a little bit. I still gotta try to find some half inch spacers. Probably won't have it in time for the show, but I'll probably order some on eBay. Dope, um, dope. So I gotta get my front fenders rolled. I'm gonna lower the, the shocks from that one so I'm gonna get the back down, air down. Even if, if lower? Yeah. Dude, lower. I'm in love with it. Me too, man. Freaking love Follow it. his Instagram for the build. I'm gonna pop the trunk so we can check out that NOS. <laughs> All right, guys, check out the tank. Hardwood floor. It looks good, bro. It looks tight. I like I like the way you guys um, did the layout on it. Yeah, that's perfect. I like the little slant. Yeah, on. we're gonna do a green a green decal for the yeah, middle right of the tank so. with this same color, radioactive green. 